Hello, what's up? And welcome back to another interview at the Web3 Friday, hosted by Coinvesting and Hero.io. Today, I have a special guest, Peter from APTA. I'm Adele, the host, and we're going to get straight into it. Peter, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Great evening. Thanks for being on the show. We are always here to uh, learn and educate ourselves. So we want to know more about what you're building at APTA. Uh, yeah, so uh, very shortly, it's an AI co-pilot for Web3. It's an assistant with access to a lot of data, to on-chain signals, to news and social media uh, that can hopefully answer any of your question in Web3. Wonderful. So it's like kind of like a Google uh, or ChatGPT, but for Web3-based uh, answers and, and inquiries. Exactly. So our goal is to make this Google and Perplexity and ChatGPT and a traditional uh, analyst all in one. All in one. Wow. One stop shop. So is it going to be integrated uh, only on the browser? Is it going to be on Telegram? Because there's also lots of Telegram in-app uh, uh, activities going on right now. What's the, what's the goal? Yeah. So the goal is to have it a little bit everywhere. Exactly. The, the main goal is to have it through Hero Browser. But of course, it will be accessible through any other browser. And then as iframes, it can be accessible in as a Telegram web app, I think they're called, as well as actually a Telegram bot. So we hope to spread it as wide as possible. Wonderful. And why uh, is there a reason why you chose the specific niche of Web3? Um, so for us, the idea for APTA, we are an AI first company. So we are building this framework and these co-pilots, these assistants for any space uh, of interest. And Hero came out, came up to us with a very interesting proposition and a partnership. Uh, they collect a lot of data, they have a lot of knowledge in the space, and they seem like a really good fit for this kind of tool, especially in a space that, let's say, the information is not always the most accessible. Mm. And we think that this kind of additional easy conversational natural language analytics can be really helpful and powerful to the people. Question, could this replace university courses and uh, syllabuses? Um, not exactly, not exactly. I wouldn't say so. Uh, because while these tools can give interesting insights and in, like information, they help with data availability and analytics, we, they are not designed to make people learn from zero to complete hero. comprehension, to hero, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, oh, why am I going this far with this analogy? Exactly. They're not really meant to make you from zero to hero, although close to it. They're giving you all the tools for it. If you go deep enough and you ask enough questions, you can definitely learn. Right. You can definitely learn, but this is not a specifically like tailored course, course to learn everything. Mm, fair enough. It's definitely the, it's, it's meant to be a tool, a, yes. a tool that you can use for guidance. Exactly, exactly. Wonderful, awesome. Uh, well, for the audience who are watching, how can they find out more information about it? Yeah. So uh, first, uh, follow information on the Hero IO website and the Hero community chats. Uh, secondly, look out for apta.chat and apta AI, uh, X account as well. We post a lot of updates about this. And finally, I would say look on the hero.tf website with a possibility to sign up for the, not really a newsletter, but an update about when the system eventually goes live, hopefully around December. Got it. Amazing. Peter, thank you so much for the insight and for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this insightful. We'll leave all the links in the description so you can check out Peter's profile as well as APTA. Thank you again. I'm Adele, the host, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Let's go.